Hey guys, sorry that I didn't post last week. We kind of got, I, I just needed a break. I know that I haven't been posting a whole lot. This lighting is terrible, oh my goodness. Maybe that works, hopefully. So yeah, I really just needed a little bit of a break. I I needed a rest and we're troubles focusing. Come on, there we go. May just be that I'm close to the camera. I don't know. I'm trying to get my diffuser situated. I've had a bit of a late start today, but it's okay. I did some laundry. I I ate getting the diffuser situated. I kind of have a fun vlog, I think, planned. It turns out the way I've imagined it. Doesn't always happen that way, but you know. I think this is what I want here. Uh, I wish there was a way to prop it up a little. Maybe up here. That works. Okay, so I can talk here in some light whales while I do so. Yeah, it's been a process. I'm still healing. So just going through everything. Oh, it's a good combination. I know, I'm strange. But I'm hoping that this vlog will work out the way I planned it. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Okay. So first things first, I'm gonna finish getting my diffuser situated and then we'll talk. All right, diffusers on and that's going. So I suppose we'll sit down and talk for a bit. This is like bright in here now. I can never get it quite right. Either look overblown or I don't even know what you'd call it, but here we are. So I was thinking that I would kind of update you on how I'm doing. So I don't remember what all I've told you. Basically, I've been off my medications, my prescribed medications for a while now. I think I stopped taking them a week and a half to two weeks ago. I don't know. I wasn't on very much after that two week point. So I've been off the medications and everything, but I'm still not always mentally coherent. I don't know if it has to do, Josiah has a theory and it's that I have basically been excluded from society and not going anywhere for four months because I was bedridden for that long. And that would make sense as to why I'm not mentally coherent a lot of times, but it's always a flip as to whether I'm mentally coherent or I'm physically drained, I guess. It's it's hard to explain, but we'll just put it at I'm not 100% there. Either my body has issues or my mind has issues and we haven't connected them back together the way they would be functioning. However, I have noticed that my spirituality has grown immensely. Um, like, I didn't realize how spiritual of a person I am, but I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for it. I've, I've grown a lot in my faith. I've grown a lot in just being mentally aware of my body and the things that are going on inside of it. Um... Yeah, I've just, I'm so, like, spiritually aware. And it's it's really nice. It's very refreshing. 
But we're working on the physical and the mental. And it'll come. It just needs more time. So that's that. I'm trying to think. I know that I said I had a fun vlog planned. And I, I guess you could say I'm superstitious. Josiah is not... Marissa and Julia are, so we're all kind of like superstitious together. And so, for the record, I'm not pregnant, but we're going to talk about pregnancy for a second. When you're pregnant, they have a ring test. And if you take a strand of your hair and your wedding ring, you dangle it over the belly. And if it spins in circles and you're holding your hand completely still, but if the ring goes in circles, you're having a boy. And if it goes back and forth, you're having a girl. I'm not necessarily one that totally believes in that test. However, Marissa is. And that's fine. It doesn't bother me. The only reason why we're talking about it is because there's another version of that test that tells you how many children you're having and what their genders are. Marissa's taken this test so many different times and she always gets the same results. I've taken the test, I don't even know how many times, and I'm always getting different results, but it's like the same five or six results repeating and it's just, it's always different and I'm so confused. So I figured maybe we would do a couple just so I could show you how to do it and it's just, it's just fun. Why not? It's it's more fun than a lot of the other things we've been doing lately. So let me find something to prop up the camera so I could show you. Is this going to be tall enough? I hope it's going to be tall enough. Yeah, you can see it from here. So we'll do that. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my blue ring off. I'm going to pluck a strand of my hair. And what you do, I'm just going to put the camera down for a second so I can show you. You dangle it and you go through and you trace your hand and then you trace it all the way back. And then you come back to here, you touch the ring to the top of your hand and you hold very still and you let it go. So, we'll see. I will, sh I would have my results written down in however many times I've gotten those results. And we'll discuss that after we've done the test a few times to see if it actually is going to give me um, repeating results rather than varying results. I'm just mainly curious. <laughs> this, It's fun and why not? So, just one second. Alright, so now we're ready. Put my hand in the middle here like so. So hopefully you'll be able to see the results. For the record, I am being completely as still as I can. I will rest my elbow on the table. I'm trying to, there we go. I'll rest my elbow on the table and dangle like this and be as still as I can. I know you can't see my top hand, but I will be as still as I can, I promise. All right, ready? So you trace the hand. Then I go back. We touch the ring to the top of the hand to steady it. And then we wait. So it's swinging back and forth. So that's baby number one. That means a girl. And then it's going to slow down. Slowed down. And now it's trying to figure out what to do. That's back and forth, so baby number two is a girl. Slowed down. And now it's back and forth, so baby number three is a girl. And 
and it's slowing down. And it stopped. I think. Yeah, it stopped. It's not doing anything. So, uh, my result on that one was three girls, which is actually the least common result that I've gotten thus far. So, let me write that in. That's really weird. But this is the only possibility, according to this, that I'm having three children, because all the other possibilities are saying four, so. All right. So let's do that again and see if it's different. And Marissa swears that I'm just broken because it's not working for me. Here, I'm gonna focus the camera so hopefully you'll see the ring better. It's not gonna focus that well. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying. All right, we ready? So that's back and forth. Baby number one is a girl. And it'll slow down. Slow down, so this is gonna be baby number two. It was doing circles and now it's going back and forth. Um, I'm very confused. And now it's not doing anything. Wait. And now it's stopped. That's the first time that ever gave me one child. Um, I'm very confused. <laughs> it's supposed to be, like I understand that this is like an old wives tale and it's not perfect. But there is supposed to be like some kind of It's supposed to be like a repeating thing, like you're not supposed to get different results. But that was the first. It gave me just one girl. It Usually it varies between whether I have three children or four, but the majority of times I have four children. So I'm guessing that one was just a fluke. We're not going to write that one down for that reason. But we'll try one more time and maybe we'll get better results. I have no idea. This is weird. All right. Let's see here. And you're supposed to use a ring that means a lot to you. And the blue ring is probably the one that I've worn the most apart from my engagement ring. And the reason why we're not using my engagement ring is because of a lot of different reasons. So it stays in the box because, oh my goodness. It stays in the box because it has issues with wanting to make stones loose and we don't like that. So, all right, are we ready?
Okay, so that is a girl. Wait, that's a boy. Okay, so baby number one's a boy. Okay, baby number two. Is a girl. Okay. Baby number three. Is a girl. Baby number four is a boy. And then it may repeat, it may not just stop. And it looks like we're repeating. So that's boy. That's girl. That's girl. And that's a boy. So that was boy, girl, girl, boy, repeating, which is a new pattern. Boy, girl, girl, boy. I dropped my marker again. Great. So, I said that we were going to do it three times. We did it three times. The first result, we got three girls. The second was inconclusive. And the third, we got boy, girl, girl, boy, which is a new pattern. So, the patterns I've been getting, the one I get the most frequently is girl, girl, boy, girl. And then I have a tie between... Boy, girl, 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 boy, boy, and boy, boy, girl, girl. And then I've gotten girl, girl, girl one other time. So the camera actually caught a new one, which is boy, girl, girl, boy. So either way, I think it can agree that we're having four kids. I don't think it can agree on the gender of those kids. And apparently, is this just me? Let me know in the comments below if you try this and if you get varying results. Am I the only one? Because everyone else that we've had try it says they get the same thing over and over and over. And I have not found anything to be like stuck. It can only agree that we're going to have either three girls and then we're done or four kids with at least a boy mixed into that because in if I'm being honest if we have three girls I'm just done like that that's pretty accurate I would be done after three girls but let me know if you get the same thing because I am very confused anyway I do have another bit of news for you so Josiah and I decided rather than me trying to find another job and mind you we're not looking for anything soon as I am still in recovery and it's still a day by day thing. I am going to take a couple of classes this week so Friday and Saturday. I'll have two 10 hour days but they're virtual so it should be 
fine. I should be mostly coherent. But I am now CPR certified. And I'm taking classes to become a certified labor and delivery doula. And I am very excited about it. I will probably go back and take everything to be a lactation consultant as well as a postpartum doula. So that way I can just be like a more well-rounded doula. And I'm very excited. And for those of you that don't know what a doula is, basically we support women through pregnancy, labor and delivery, breastfeeding, postpartum. And we are basically there as needed. If they feel like they need us, they can utilize us. It's really up to them. What's really cool is doula actually means a female servant in Greek. And the way that we serve, we are there for the patient in really any way that they need us. We we could be a comforting touch. We could be just someone to encourage them and to speak life into them as they're going through this process. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I am like really excited to be able to do this for people and to be able to support them in such a huge life-changing event. I am so excited to be able to share this moment with all of my future clients and I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited to be able to do this. And I understand that I really don't have any base knowledge. I haven't even gone through birth and delivery or anything like that myself. And I do understand that that's pretty unusual. Usually you have your own experiences and then you help other people get through their own. I've just always been fascinated by birth and by all of it like it's just so fascinating to me and I know it's not for everybody and I know that some people are gonna think that I would change my mind after the first couple of births so I could see what it really entails but it really boils down to like I watch videos online because it fascinates me I used to stay up to odd hours in the morning just watching these and just watching so many different people's experiences and it's just it's so cool like I love it and I want to be a part of it and I'm very excited to be able to offer my services eventually and to be a part of it I'm just I'm so excited so that's coming up and I will be hopefully certified because I have the classes that I have to take. I'm already CPR certified, so that certification's already done. I have the two days of classes on Friday and Saturday. And then I have an examination. And then that will give me my certification. So probably within the next week, hopefully by the next vlog, I will be certified and labor and delivery and then I'll have to go back for a lactation consultant and then postpartum but honestly we are so excited we are going through pro doula and if you're interested their classes the one that I'm doing now is about six hundred dollars so it's really not that bad, especially considering I got my CPR certification online for through the American Red Cross. That was $35 and I'm certified for two years. Um, I'll have to renew that every two years to maintain my doula certification. And I will have to probably take this course every... I think it's every two or three years I'd have to look it up but I basically I have to go through and renew every so often but as long as I keep up with it honestly it is totally worth it because the way that it works the way that I kind of come to understand it um so basically I'm trying to think of how to explain this 
the way your rates would work, people usually charge between 800 to 1800 for birth and that is just for the big show. Um, you are basically required to stay for as long as they need you. So you stay as long as you're needed. And I understand that that's really rough on some people. And I don't expect it to be easy. And I know that it's going to be an on-call profession. And there are going to be a lot of things that I miss with my own family down the line. Because I'm with someone and trying to help them through their moment. And honestly, I'm good with it. I'm just, I'm excited to be a part of something so momentous in so many people's lives. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really, really excited and I can't wait. I will have to let you know the prices of the other certifications I'm going back for when I complete this one. Yes, it is a little pricey, but Pro Doula is probably one of the ones that's the least pricey because I found a couple other places where they had like six to eight months and you're certified and it's like a couple thousand dollars and you have to pay like per every couple classes and it's a lot of classes and honestly Pro Doula is probably one of the easier ones that I have found and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I'm very excited to be a part of it. Um, I probably will have to attend a few births just to like get some hands-on experience before I can do my own thing and I expect that and that's fine with me. I'm just, I'm super excited to be a part of it. So, I will let you know more information when I know more information. If you have any questions about anything, put them in the comments below. And, yeah, that's basically what's new. I think that's all. So, still really hard to sign off. I keep wanting to say our old outro but I'm sure it'll get easier. <laughs> Bye.